What's going on, you guys? This is New York Adventure in 1994 here, and today is Thursday, April 7, 2022. And the reason why I have a math photo of Puerto Rico is because I have an update on it, and I want to start out the video this way for the intro and. Something bad is going on down there right now. And this is what I'm going to share with you guys. So, last night, a PR power station went on fire and it caused an island-wide blackout. And now over 100,000 people are without power. In Puerto Rico. So. Let's pull up an article. Did I have for you guys? Okay. On New York Post. From San Juan. A major power edge hit Puerto Rico late Wednesday. Plunging nearly 350,000 customers in the darkness after a fire erupted at one of the largest power plants in the U.S. territory. The outage was one of the biggest in recent months for the island's crumbling electrical grid, which has seen its periodic blackouts grow worse in the last few years. The outage elected a collective groan from people across Puerto Rico as many who depend on insulin and respiratory therapies once again, I'm worried about how long it will, it will last. Yeah, this is pretty frustrating for them. Puerto Rico is not that good with blackouts. It takes a long time for them to restore power. Hopefully, maybe someone here or in another state could go down there and help them. Yeah, Puerto Rico needs a lot of help right now. There's still some damage they've been suffering from Hurricane Maria still. Yeah. They're really desperate for help right now. And now there's a power station fire. A Pagon. What may frustrate customers across social media using the Spanish word for outage. Yeah, there's a lot of generators being ran right now in Puerto Rico. And in this article, Major outage forces Puerto Rico to shutter schools and offices. So, major outage forces Puerto Rico to shutter schools and offices. Have to reread it. Yeah, so. Some people are out of school right now in Puerto Rico and work. More than a million customers in Puerto Rico remained without electricity on Thursday and a fire at the main, at a main power plant caused the biggest blackout so far this year. Across the U.S. territory forcing it to cancel classes and shut government offices. There's like traffic across the island of 3.2 million people. That's just insane guys. With a roar of generators and a smell of diesel filled the air. Those who could not afford generators and have medical conditions such as diabetes, which depends on refrigerated insulin, worried about how much longer they'd be out without power. 
long line to form at some gas stations. So they're saying it's just like when Hurricane Maria struck Puerto Rico as a Cat 4 storm in 2017. When they had Hurricane Maria back in 2017, people were out were without electricity for like almost a year. That's just crazy. They were really desperate back then. I can tell you that. People were out power for almost a year. Yeah, this is really serious, everyone. This is really bad. Imagine being without well power for over a year. Or almost a year. Yeah. Just imagine having no TV or no heat or air conditioning in your house for like almost a year. Just imagine. So I'm going to take a look at the outages going on like right now. So this is Power Edge US. I, I already showed you guys this before. It's a site where they're on track of the power edges that are happening across the country right now. And look at Puerto Rico right now. There's over, there's like 407,500 people without power right now. Florida and Virginia just lost power. There's some outages going on down there too. But they're in yellow, which is a minor outage event. Let's look. Luma Energy is reporting partial restoration in Puerto Rico. So we have gone back to using the numbers reported by their system. However, keep in mind the number of customers out may be still above the numbers their system is currently reporting. So there could be more than this number. Probably almost a million. Yeah, only one part of it's in blue. But look at everywhere else. They're showing like yellows and oranges and reds. Yeah. This is like how severe it is down there with the blackouts. Last night, this whole area was like covered with oranges and reds. So this is very serious guys. And smaller parts of the island are in orange and red. Yeah, remember what happened with Hurricane Maria? People were in the dark for like almost a year. And I don't know how long people are going to be well power during this time because we can't rule it out until it actually gets restored. So we can't rule out what's going to happen and we can't rule out how long they are going to be well power. Even the people there can't rule it out. We just don't know. But I already told you that Puerto Rico is not that good with blackouts. They could be without power for a very long time. So we got to we got to hope for the best.
because it wasn't a hurricane this time. It was a power station fire, and that could cause a prolonged power outage. So, this is really serious. Yeah. And that that was very dangerous of what I was hearing. So, I guess that's it.